We're back this morning with some promising news in the fight against pancreatic cancer. It is one of the deadliest cancers out there. Right now, fewer than 13% of people diagnosed with it live more than five years after it's detected. But there is new hope. Personalized mRNA vaccines, similar to the types of vaccines used for COVID-19, they are showing a real potential as a treatment here. For more, let's bring in NBC News medical contributor, Dr. Kavita Patel. Dr. Patel, good to have you with us. I know a lot of folks are getting excited about this research on mRNA vaccines for pancreatic cancer. Explain, these are, these are personalized vaccines. Explain how they work and why they're showing so much promise. Yeah, Joe, Savannah, there is good reason to be excited. So mRNA, if it sounds familiar, it's because we talked a lot about them during COVID vaccines. It's the same technology that's used to develop the majority of COVID vaccines. In this case, 16 patients that underwent an early trial who had already had cancer, pancreatic cancer, removed by surgery, and then had their specific tumor used to tailor a vaccine, in this case, an mRNA vaccine. And much like the COVID vaccine, that vaccine was then injected and helped, like it does in COVID, helped our own body's natural immune system create antibodies, in this case, against any recurrence of pancreatic cancer cell tumors. Half of the patients that got this vaccine, Joe, actually responded with being cancer-free at the end of five years, which is nothing short of incredible, but still early results. Mm. Dr. Patel, we mentioned, I mean, pancreatic cancer, one of the deadliest cancers with very few effective options to treat it. How does this new approach compare to current treatments? What's available? Surgery, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, radiation? Right. So all of those are currently used for treatment. And as you mentioned, Savannah, this is one of the deadliest cancers. By the end of this year, we project pancreatic cancer to be the second deadliest cancer to lung cancer. And that means that doesn't mean that colon and breast cancer and prostate are not important. It's just that we have more effective treatments against those cancers. So people can live and be cancer free. In this case, we have to use all of the above. And the patients in this trial, it was mostly cancers that you could kind of get at by operating and removing them. Of course, these patients, all including the vaccine patients, received standard therapy, which, as you mentioned, includes chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and in some cases, radiation therapy. So we kind of do, in medicine, pancreatic cancer has been one of those things, Savannah, that we talk about literally anything and everything possible to attack it because it's so deadly. And unfortunately, when we detect it, it's often too late. You mentioned this trial. It's small, it's early stage, but the results are encouraging. So talk about what then the next steps are in this research. I mean, if things continue to progress, if it's good news, how could, soon could we see something like this more widespread? Yeah, so Joe, the good news is that because of these early phase one trial results, and as a reminder, we have several phases in clinical trials. Phase one is an important hurdle to get through that researchers did get through that. So at Sloan Kettering, they're starting phase two trials. That involves over 200 patients with pancreatic cancer. And then that will allow for researchers to be able to delineate, is this just correlation? Did we just happen to see that people who happened to get the vaccine also were cancer-free, but it wasn't really the vaccine, Joe? With phase two, we'll be able to tell, did this vaccine make a true difference? Mm. I'm afraid to say it won't help cancer patients right now who are not in the trial, but it will help cancer patients for generations to come. And by the way, this is just one of many mRNA vaccines that we're using for cancers in general. So mm. it's an incredibly promising technology. We'll keep our eye on it. Yeah, it really is so groundbreaking. Mm. All right, Dr. Patel, yeah. thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.